In the lactose operon, the binding of RNA polymerase is blocked because a repressor protein is bound to the operator. When an inducer binds to the repressor, it becomes inactivated. This means the repressor does not bind to the operon anymore, allowing RNA polymerase to proceed with transcription. In the lac operon, the inducer that is bound to the lactose repressor is called sugar allolactose. When the repressor is not able to bind to the operator, the operon can be transcribed. Transcription is blocked when a co-repressor or small molecule binds to the repressor. The repressor is then able to bind to the operator. This blocks transcription, stopping the formation of mRNA and the proteins it would have encoded. The arginine CBH operon's co-repressor is arginine, an amino acid, who binds to the arginine repressor. This model is an example of enzyme repression. In the maltose operon, the lack of an inducer prevents the binding of both the activator protein and the RNA polymerase. This means transcription cannot occur. When an inducer molecule attaches to the activator protein, it can then bind to the activator binding site. In this operon, the inducer is a sugar maltose, and the activator protein is malty. The RNA polymerase is now able to bind to the promoter and the transcription can take place. I counted to five and you weren't there. Marissa.